Hey there, I am Caitlin McDonald with the Social Speak Network. And in this video, we're gonna be jumping into how to utilize Zapier to get a PDF from a Gravity Form output into Google Drive. Uh, so there are a few different ways to do this, but unfortunately you do have to pay for most of them. Um, but in order to do my solution, you need to have a um, purchased Gravity Forms um, plugin, the PDF add-on, and the paid Zapier account. And so how you, uh, typically how folks try and do this is with web merge. Unfortunately, that does cost money. And also, unfortunately, you can't just grab a PDF from the PDF add-on on Gravity Forms and automatically send it to Google Drive. So you have to have some sort of workaround. And this is something that, um, gosh, we worked 20 or more hours on and we went through a few different solutions, um, gave it a rest for, for about a month and then came back to it. And we were able to put this together. So basically what we do is we attach that PDF of the answers or of the answers that we want to include from the Gravity form. We attach that at to the admin notification or really any notification. And then we have Zapier find that email notification and grab the attachments from there to upload as files to Google Drive. So I'm gonna walk you through this in an example form that we have set up. Um, I was originally gonna do it step by step. Uh, my computer kept on freezing on me because of our internet. So I think this might be a little bit better. So let me share my screen. Okay, perfect. So the first thing that you have to do is create the form. So we have the form here that we created, just name, title, some things that you're interested in and more information. Then we set up a PDF with the PDF add-on, Gravity PDF. And I'll just open this up. Uh, you name the PDF, select the template, and then say which notification you want it to go to. So here the admin notification. You also can then create a custom name for that file. So we want it just to be the first name of the form fill and then example PDF. You can double check the notification settings here as well. And so we just have the admin notification um, and it goes to the admin email address. Then the next thing that you need to do is hook it up to Zapier, and this is through a webhook. Um, so when you create the Zap, you want Gravity Form as the first one, and it's a new form submission, and this will give you a webhook that you can use. So just copy this to the clipboard, head on over to the Zapier feeds, click Add New, and then paste that webhook in. So that process, if you've used uh, Zapier in the past, that process is the same, um, just like any others. The next thing that we need to do is add a delay. So I always add this delay just because um, when a notification is sent to the admin's email address or your email address, sometimes it's not captured right away. Sometimes maybe Gravity Form has a delay or your email has a delay where it's only checking it every 15 minutes or whatever it is. Um, so I always add in this delay here. And typically I have it delayed for maybe 10 minutes. That's what I set this one up for. But the next thing that we need to do is we need to find the email that this notification is sent to. So here we have it hooked up to the Gmail account, the admin Gmail account, and we want to search specifically for the email with the subject line of that admin notification. Um, so if we take a look at the notification, it has the subject line, and you can name this really whatever you want, um, but new submission from, and then the form title oops, right here. So what I put in Zapier is new submission from and then example form because that's the name of the, um, of the email that's gonna be sent. Then the last step is uploading the file. So you might need to add a search step 
In this one, I um, just have it set to go to the main Google Drive folder. Um, however, you can dive in, you can do a search step before this where you find like a nested folder or custom folder, let's say, um, you nest folders by what email address or something uh, has filled out the form or if they filled out a form before and things just to keep uh, users of the website and users of the form all separated. So what we do is, so here I just have it set to go to my drive. I'm just gonna have it go to the root drive. Um, and then the file that we want to upload, I have it as in the find email, I selected all attachments. So this one just has one attachment. I just selected all attachments just to make sure that it actually grabs it. Um, I always say, you know, if it's a PDF, I don't want it converted to a document. Um, so I put no here and then you can change the file name if you wanted to or anything like that. Um, next thing that you do is you just save the form and click continue and then let's check it out, see how it runs. So I'm going to fill in this information. Okay, so we filled it in, we're gonna click submit, and then that will prompt the email to be sent. So of course, you know, in your form, you'll probably wanna adjust this confirmation message and things like that. Um, so let me just check on my other screen here, uh, if that has come on through yet. Just one moment. Okay, so the email hasn't come through on my side yet, so I'm just going to pause this video for about 10 minutes or so um, until I know that the zap has actually gone through. So I'll see you here in just a couple of minutes. All right, so it's been a few minutes and I just refreshed my screen and the test went through properly. So let's um, just go through the task history for this zap. So again, we filled out the example form on the website and the submission went through Zapier, the webhook caught the information. It then delayed for 10 minutes and it did a search within Gmail for the subject line, new submission from example form. From here, it sent one new upload file to Google Drive. So it found the attachment and it sent that to Google Drive. So I am in my Google Drive on my other screen and I will pull it over just so that you can see how the PDF was in fact loaded to Google Drive. Here, let me pull this over. Here we go. So here we have that simple PDF. Again, in Gravity Forms PDF, that add-on, you can create new templates. Um, you can also purchase templates and match different fields to different areas. But this solution allows you to utilize Zapier and no additional um, paid services to upload a PDF of the answers from Gravity Form directly into Google Drive. So again, my name is Caitlin McDonald. I'm over here at the Social Speak Network. And if you have found this video helpful, please write in the comments below. Or if you have any questions about the steps that I've been through uh, in this video, again, just write them down below. Uh, we also have um, in this playlist, a bunch of other tips about how to use specifically Enfold theme and WordPress and do some advanced functionality there. So I hope that this um, tutorial has been helpful and that you don't spend 20 hours like we did figuring out a workaround for saving the PDF entries of a Gravity form um, into your Google Drive automatically uh, without having to download the PDF and re-upload it. So thanks again for tuning in and don't hesitate to click that subscribe button. Great to see you.